Hi everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. If we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a nice full body flow for strength and flexibility. So find just a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today in just a nice comfy seat. If you'd like to sit on a cushion or maybe a block of some kind, feel free to do so. But then placing your hands either in your lap or on your knees, close your eyes. Take a nice big breath in, sit nice and tall. As you exhale, soften your shoulders. Another big breath in. And out. And one more nice deep inhale. And exhale. Awesome, you guys. Take another breath in. And as you breathe out, start to let your chin fall down towards your collarbone, bringing some length into the back of your neck. Taking this time just to slow things down. To settle in. And using an inhale, let's roll the head over towards the right shoulder. Nice and slow. Maybe lengthening your spine a little more along the way. Staying here for an inhale. Use the exhale to roll your chin nice and slow back down. As you inhale, you can keep rolling your head over towards the left side. Maybe sitting a little taller again. Keep going until you feel the length through the sides of your neck. One more inhale. Use the exhale to bring your chin back down. Awesome, you guys. Taking an inhale, you can start to lift your head back up. Maybe even add in a shoulder roll. Hmm. Feel free to stay sitting nice and still, or if you want to move a little bit more, we're just going to take a couple twists. So with an inhale, lengthen the spine again. And as you exhale, start to turn your chest over towards the right. Just a nice gentle twist. Keep that chest proud, the spine long. <clears throat> Find your breath again. Awesome, you guys. Take an inhale, bring your chest back to face the front. Exhale to the other side. Breathe. Soften your jaw. And use an inhale and bring your chest back to face the front. Awesome. You guys, your hands can find your lap or your knees again. Maybe take one more shoulder roll. And now let's just sit for a few breaths. Finding some stillness. Letting go of your day. Whatever you have to do later. And just sit with your breath. And let everything else go. And staying as you are, let's take another three full cycles of breath. Three inhales, three exhales. Keeping the jaw soft. And whenever you think you might be done, that third exhale, that third breath, you can slowly start to open up your eyes, just looking to the floor in front of you. We're gonna make our way onto our hands and knees. Take your time, move as slow as you would like. Ah, spreading the fingers wide, bringing your wrists under your shoulders once you do get there. Maybe rocking your hips side to side a couple times. And then let's warm up our spine with a few cat and cow. So with the inhale, drop your belly. Lift your chest, maybe lifting through the chin. As you exhale, round your spine. Give your tummy a little squeeze. <sighs> inhale, drop your belly. Arching through the back. And exhale as you round. 
push into your palms. One more breath here. Inhale, dropping the belly, lifting the chest and the chin. Exhale, round it out. How close can you bring your chin towards your collarbone? Awesome, you guys. Take an inhale. Find your way to a nice flat back. Tuck your toes if they aren't already. Take a big breath in. And as you exhale, lift your knees and find downward facing dog. Spread your fingers a little wider maybe. Take your dog for a little walk if you'd like. But just breathe a little deeper. Scan your body. How are you feeling so far today? Maybe you'd like to be nice and still here in your downward dog. Just breathe. Continue to slow down. Let go of your day. Whatever thoughts that are on the mind, maybe you can set them off to the side. Take one more big breath in and out. Using an inhale, gazing forward. Exhale, walk your feet up to the top of your mat. Take an inhale, lift halfway up. Exhale, as you fold forwards, bend your knees. <sighs> inhale, let's come all the way up to standing, reaching up, maybe even looking up. And exhale, as you lower your hands in front of your heart, down to your sides, option to add in a shoulder roll, spreading your fingers nice and wide. Take an inhale and reach up. Exhale, tip forwards. <sighs> Inhale, half lift, really lengthening through your spine. Exhale as you fold. <sighs> Inhale, it's come all the way up. Reach up, maybe look up. Exhale as you lower your hands in front of your heart, down to your sides. Big inhale, reaching up again. <sighs> Exhale, folding forwards. <sighs> Inhale for your half lift. Exhale as you fold. Inhale, let's come all the way up, reaching up, maybe looking up. Exhale, lower your hands in front of your heart, down to your sides. Take a big inhale, reach up one more time. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, folding, planting your hands. We're going to step both of our feet back into downward facing dog. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Shift your gaze towards your toes. Maybe take your dog for another walk. Maybe just be still. Breathing nice and deep wherever you decided to go. However you decided to move. Awesome, you guys. Take an inhale. Let's look forwards. Exhale, walk or step to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale, let's come all the way up to standing. Reach up, maybe look up, but pause at the top. Stay standing nice and tall. Keep reaching up. One more inhale, and use the exhale to fold all the way back down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, we're going to fold, plant our hands. Take your left foot all the way back into a lunge. You can keep your back knee lifted or you can always drop it down, but find your balance. Get a little lighter through your fingertips maybe, but keep your chest low, look at your big toe. If you want to twist, that left hand's going to stay planted. Use the inhale and turn your chest to the right. Maybe your right hand rests on your knee. Maybe you reach up, maybe you look up. Breathe. One more inhale here. Use the exhale to come back out of your twist. Plant your hands. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale, bring your back foot to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale, let's come all the way up to standing. Reach up, look up. Exhale, lower your hands in front of your heart. Down to your sides. Roll your shoulders back and down. Big inhales, you reach up. Exhale, folding forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. Let's take the left foot back again, setting up your lunge. So you could lower your back knee, of course. Decide if you want to lower your back knee. We're going to take another twist. This time, though, that left hand, it might stay planted, or you might actually bring your left elbow to your knee and bring your palms together and turn the chest to the right. Nice job, you guys. Take another inhale and an exhale to come back and out of the twist. 
Inhale as you look forwards. Exhale, bring your back foot to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, it's come all the way up. Reach up, look up, and exhale as you lower your hands in front of your heart, down to your sides. Roll your shoulders back and down. Awesome, you guys. Big inhale, let's reach back up. Exhale, fold forwards. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, planting your hands, stepping on back into downward facing dog. Taking a moment here, slow down. Move if you want to move, be still if you want to be still. Just breathe a little deeper, slow down that breath. Nice job, you guys. When you're ready, use an inhale, gaze forwards. Exhale, walk or step to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, twofold. Inhale, all the way up to standing. Reaching up, looking up, pause at the top. Stay standing nice and tall. Breathe. Soften your shoulders. Take one more inhale and use the exhale to fold back down. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. Let's take our right foot back, setting up our lunge. Remember, you can drop your back knee. Find your balance. Look at that nice big toe. Get a little lighter through your fingertips, maybe. If you want that first twist, the right hand's going to stay planted. Inhale as you turn your chest to the left. Maybe your hand rests on your knee or you reach up. One more inhale and an exhale to come back out of your twist. Punch your hands, take an inhale and look forwards. Exhale, bring your back foot to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. <sighs> inhale, let's come all the way up. Reach up, look up, pause at the top, take another breath in. Use the exhale to fold back down. <sighs> inhale, half lift. Exhale as you fold, plant your hands, that right foot's coming back one more time, setting up your lunge, and this time for your twist, maybe the right elbow is going to find that left knee, palms could come together, prayer, turn the chest to the left, awesome job you guys, ah, breathe, one more inhale, Use the exhale to come back out of your twist. Plant your hands. Inhale, look forwards. Exhale, bring your back foot to the top. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. <sighs> Inhale, let's come all the way up to standing. Reach up, look up. And exhale as you lower your hands in front of your heart. All the way down to your sides. Awesome, you guys. Big shoulder roll. Spread your fingers wide. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, half lift, exhale, fold, planting your hand, stepping back into downward facing dog. This time you can stay in downward facing dog or you can join me in child's pose. Take another big inhale and use the exhale to bring your knees down to your mat and they can come out nice and wide. Big toes can come together, sending your hips back towards your heels and lowering your forehead, lowering your chest. Slowing down your breath again. And when you're ready, an inhale can start to lift your forehead, lift your chest. We're just going to have a nice comfy seat across your ankles, bringing your legs out in front. And actually, let's keep our left leg out. We're going to bend the right leg and plant the foot right beside the left knee. So you might actually slide your right foot further down. I want you to be able to sit tall here. So plant that right foot really wherever is comfortable. Start to point your left toes up towards the ceiling and hang on to your right knee. With an inhale, sit even taller. As you exhale, start to turn your chest over towards the right side for a twist. So you can give that knee a hug. And you can bring your right fingertips behind you or beside you for support. And then re-wake up that left leg. Point those toes up towards the ceiling. Twist. Awesome, you guys. Stay for an inhale. Hold your twist as you exhale. 
and then use an inhale to bring your chest back to face the front. We're just gonna take this right leg, bring the foot to the inner thigh. With an inhale, sit tall again. As you exhale, fold forward. Feeling the nice length through the back of your left leg. And you might stay just like this, folding straight down. If you want one more twist, twist-ish mo movement, <laughs> you can start to lift your chest back up a little bit. We're just gonna bring our hands to the outside of that left leg. So you're just gonna try and turn your chest to the left. If your left fingertips wanna walk towards your left hip and maybe your right fingertips wanna walk towards your foot, you can take this forward fold as far as you'd like or you can keep the chest lifted and focus more on that twist. Awesome, you guys. Using an inhale, we're gonna come back through center and lift all the way back up. Send your right leg out and bend the left leg in. Plant the foot, grab your knee, wake up that right leg, point the toes up as you inhale, sit tall. As you exhale, turn your chest to the left. Adjust that right leg, wake it up again. Push into those left fingertips behind you. Breathe, feel the twist. Awesome job, you guys. Stay for one more full breath. In and out. And then use an inhale to turn your chest back to face the front. You can bring that left leg down, foot to your inner thigh. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Hmm. With your option to stay here, just coming straight down, or maybe starting to turn your chest to the right a little bit. Finding another twist, just a small twist. Mm -mm. Maybe looking back towards the right hip. Awesome, you guys. Take an inhale, find center again, and lift all the way back up. You can bring your feet to the floor, both of them bending the knees. Give yourself a little hug, a little rock side to side, and then we're going to lay all the way down onto our backs. So you might pull your knees in towards your chest and take a rock side to side, massaging the low back. You might just keep your feet on the floor. But when you are ready, we are gonna lift our feet up into the air, whether you're gonna have your knees bent or a little straighter. Feel free to hang onto the legs, just get a little bit lighter through the ankles, through the feet, resting your arms wherever's comfy. Encouraging your low back into the mat. Feel the back of your head get heavier. And your shoulders. Your low back. Your hips. Feel everything get heavier. And feel your feet get lighter. Awesome, you guys, nice and slow. Let's bring our feet all the way down to the floor. And then as you walk your heels closer to your hips, start to heel toe your feet out wide as well. You don't have to go all the way to the edges of, the, of your mat, but just, just wider. Let your knees come out wide as well. You can rest your arms at your sides. We're gonna lift our hips up. So if you feel like your feet are too wide, you can't lift your hips in this position, you can bring them back a little closer together. But take a nice big inhale, push into your feet and lift your hips. Maybe they lift just a little, maybe they lift a lot more. 
Just push into your feet. You could even squeeze your glutes for a second. Lengthening through those hip flexors. Keep your knees away from one another. Breathe. Awesome, you guys. Just here for another moment. What happens when you try to lift your heels and push into the ball of the feet? Do your hips get a little higher? Maybe, maybe not. Take one more inhale and then use the exhale to gently place your hips all the way back down. Rest your heels. Let your knees fall towards one another. So feet out wide. You might even bring them a little wider. Let your knees fall together. When you feel a little inward rotation of those hips, your feet are out wide, your knees are falling together. Maybe placing one hand on your belly button, one hand on your heart. still together. Use an inhale. Open them back up. Heel toe your feet all the way back in. All the way together and let your knees fall out wide. Feeling the love through the hips as you let your knees fall out wide. Just tuning in to the sound of your breath. The rise and fall of your tummy. And either staying like this Starting to send your legs out long, your feet out wide. Allowing yourself to be still. Enjoying a few moments of Shavasana before you carry on with the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, namaste.